Okay, so what you have to do now is you can see that this is a hole. This is a hole. This is another hole. This is a line. Okay, so you're going to take your ventilating needle. Mm -hmm. You're going to take a ventilating needle from this hole now. Hmm? You put it to this other hole. Hmm? Have your ventilating needle on this line. Okay, let me try it again. Mm? From this hole, mm? this hole that you have, mm? you put it to this hole. So you put from one hole to the other hole. Okay? Have your ventilating needle this way. You can see. See the oh God, needle. Mm? So this is what you do. When you take your ventilating needle and take pick a hole, hmm? you take, please start with one strand of hair. Hmm? You take, pick just one strand. When you pick your one strand of hair, hmm? you can see that the hook of your ventilating pin is holding onto the hair. So you hold on to the hair with your left hand. Hmm? Hold on to the hair, your, your, the hair with your left hand. So it doesn't pull off. If you release your hand, this hair is going to be. It will pull off. So make sure you are holding it with your left hand. Then what you have to do is to slide this needle. Facing the needle down, slide it through the hole. You're going to do that facing, facing the direction of this hole. Okay? Let me try it again. Okay, so when you pass your ventilating needle to this ventilating needle this way, sorry, you pick one strand of hair. For starters, please start with one strand. When you when you take your hair, you slide this needle facing it down. If you face it up this way, it will not pass. If you face it this way, it will not pass. If you face it this way, it will not pass. Okay. Having in mind that you're holding on to the hair with your left hand, hmm? you want slide this hair facing the direction of the hole. Hmm? This hole is facing a diagonal direction, so you pass the needle. You can see that I can easily put this needle back because I'm facing it this way. You can see how it's passing. Okay? So when, you're, when you successfully pass your needle, what do you have to do? You have to tie your knot. Okay? So you bring your needle to meet the hair. You eventually need the needle to meet the hair this way. Then you rotate your hand, helping you to rotate the ventilating needle to face the hair downwards. Okay? The ventilating needle is facing downwards. Oh God. Okay, so when you pass it, you take your hair, your, how do you say, pulling? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you take your needle to meet the hair. Hmm? To meet the hair. Okay, then you rotate the needle downwards. When you do this, it will help you what open up. You can see this opening here. You see this opening here on the hair. That's where the hair is going to just automatically pass from to help you tie your knot. By tying your knot, you move it away from you, drag it away from you. Okay, be able to tie your knot. So let's try another one again. You take your needle, pick a hole. Pass it through a hole, pass it into the other hole, picking a line. You take your hair, slide it, facing the needle down to the direction of the hole, okay? Face it down this way, pass it. Then take your needle, 
to the to the hair and rotate it downwards okay when you rotate it downwards it will help you pass the hair through the the hole okay then you take it away from you pull it away from your hand okay so this is what i'm doing please when you're picking your hole do not pick two holes at a time don't do this hmm? just one put from one hole to the other hole pick your hair pass it through slide it under the the, the hole with a needle you come to take your hair rotate your hand downwards it will help you what to automatically tidy you pull it away from yourself okay